This is a stem and diaphragm replacement on a Mark 978. Start out by finding the Mark 978 INM form. This can be found at steriflowvalve.com. Read it and heed the cautions, safety warnings, and detailed assembly notes. Prior to any disassembly, ensure the valve is in the open position. Remove the bonnet bolts. Remove pressure from the actuator. Remove the two cap screws from the lower stem connector. Loosen the lower jam nut. Mark the point on the stem where it meets the lower stem connector. Remove the actuator from the body. Pull the plug stem assembly downward and out of the bonnet. For soft seat valves, clean threads on the plug and on the soft seat retainer. Install new soft seat onto retainer using primer 7649 and Loctite 2046. Break the threaded connection and remove old diaphragm. Replace the old diaphragm and reassemble the plug stem diaphragm using primer 7649 and Loctite 2046. Tighten until the mechanical stop is engaged and the diaphragm assumes an umbrella shape. Replace the plug assembly by inserting it through the bottom of the bonnet. Reinstall the lower jam nut and reconnect to the lower stem connector, referencing the index mark made in step 5. Replace bonnet on valve body. Put the valve back into the open position. Secure bonnet to body using bonnet bolts. Replace the two cap screws from the lower stem connector. Cycle the valve by stroking the plug up and down several times to align the trim to the body. With the plug on the seat, cross tighten the body bolts to 150 inch pounds in two stages. Tighten the lower jam nut. 
This has been a stem and diaphragm replacement on the Mark 978 JD from Steriflow Valve.